Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello students. So we have seen the circular function in the lower standards and today we are going to start a new type of function which is called as hyperbolic function. So in this video, I am going to cover the different formulae and the definition of the hyperbolic function. So now guys, you must be thinking what is hyperbolic function. So when we learn the trigonometric function, which is also called as circular function, we have seen that it has the relationship with circle. Similarly, the hyperbolic functions have the relation with hyperbola. So here, to understand it, if I say x is a real number or a complex number, then the value e to the power x plus e to the power minus x upon 2 denotes the hyperbolic function. And this is called as hyperbolic cosine of x. So here you can see that x can be the real or the complex number. Similarly, if we want to find out the hyperbolic sine function, then it is e to the power x minus e to the power minus x upon 2. So guys, this is called as hyperbolic sine of x. So these are the standard hyperbolic functions. So here you can see that here we are taking the relationship between the exponential function and the hyperbolic function. Now guys, from these functions, we can also derive the hyperbolic tan of x, then hyperbolic cot of x, hyperbolic sec of x and hyperbolic cosec of x. So let's see. So first of all, I'll find out the value of hyperbolic sec of x. So for that, we'll take 1 upon hyperbolic cos of x. So if we find out the reciprocal of this, the answer is 2 upon e to the power x plus e to the power minus x. Okay, similarly, we can get the value of hyperbolic cosec of x. So here the value is 2 by e to the power x minus e to the power minus x. Now, to get the value of hyperbolic tan x, we'll divide hyperbolic sin x with the hyperbolic cos x. So by dividing it, we'll get e to the power x minus e to the power minus x upon e to the power x plus e to the power minus x. And guys, the last formula that is hyperbolic cot of x, it is e to the power x plus e to the power minus x upon e to the power x minus e to the power minus x. So guys, these are the standard hyperbolic functions which we use to solve the numericals. So I'm sure you understood the definition of hyperbolic function, how the hyperbolic functions are derived and we will see this standard properties or we will use the standard properties to solve the numericals in further videos. Just keep watching videos to understand the more numericals based on the hyperbolic function. Thank you very much.